All right, hey guys, how's it going? Um, we're here with uh, Seth, our uh, social media manager uh, for Northern Lights State Winery. Uh, we get to work really closely together and um, Seth uh, comes up with lots of crazy creative uh, ideas and puts it together in a nice way for us. Um, uh, for what you see uh, across our platforms, uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube, uh soundcloud you name it uh i'm probably missing a bunch here but uh seth welcome hi how you doing i'm uh, doing fantastic um seth uh i got a question for you um first off uh just to talk a little bit about obviously covid19 and how it's affected you and your role and and kind of uh, maybe give us a, a bit of an update on uh, what your role is what you do with winery and uh and how you've been managing uh, in the last couple of weeks yeah for sure so uh at the winery i do uh, the social media. So as Doug said, I do all the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever else is uh, needed at the time. Uh, I'm also the photographer and videographer for the winery. So all the photos, well, a majority of the photos that you see through there are mine. Um, You're a busy luckily, guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> luckily, I have most of the editing software and everything I use uh, on my home computer as well. So working from home has probably been easier than uh, maybe some other people in similar situations because a lot of social media and whatnot is all digital, right? So it's, I can do most of it remotely. Um, but then uh, when the need is, I do stop into the winery and get some new photos and videos and whatnot. Um, but it's been going pretty good being from home. Lots of uh, time in my pajamas, so. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to get dressed for work. It's always <laughs> nice. <laughs> So what are you finding are like the biggest uh, challenges right now that you find uh, because you've been working at home really for the majority of the last three weeks or so? Mm. Um, you know, what are the things that are really uh, the toughest uh, to accomplish in your role? I think the one of the things that I was struggling with a bit would be staying um, connected with the rest of the team. Usually I'm just across the road. So I, when I want to chat with uh, you or Aaron or anyone else, I just kind of walk across the road and talk to people, but it's really taking that extra step now to set up meetings or to um, make the phone call, text people, stuff like that. It's uh, taking that extra step and making sure you're staying connected with everyone, which I think is incredibly important right now um, with the way that everything's going is just making sure that you are connected to everyone and staying on top of everything. Um, that and getting photos because it's getting down to the winery and I live up in the heart and stuff. So, um, those would probably just be the biggest ones. Yeah. It's, it's such a, it's such a weird world. I think like, um, in, in, I mean, if this had happened 20 years ago, uh, I can't imagine like how people would stay connected. I mean, we talk about conference calls and phone calls, but now we're able to have zoom meetings. We probably, we have uh, you know, Zoom meetings almost every day going on between someone at the winery uh, multiple mm -hmm. times a day um, between our, our teams connecting them. Um, is there like, do, do you think that this is actually going to connect people like more necessarily than, than they used to be? Because because one of the things I've noticed is I'm actually talking to people I haven't talked to in like months and years um, via Zoom and via phone call. And is that something you're seeing too? Or um, I have been noticing that a bit more yeah they some people are reaching out i don't know if it's just because people are at home more and they feel like they have more time i have had friends i haven't talked to in a while reach out and you know chat with me over facebook and stuff like that um also people phoning each other when they wouldn't before <laughs> like it was almost a taboo thing to phone someone instead of texting but now i think people because they're at home so much are kind of looking for that connection and i i growing up i was always someone who who did use the phone a lot i I found it way easier to make plans and whatnot. Um, but I think after all of this, I think it might bring back the phone a bit more and really helping people make those uh, connections, even with seeing each other and um, whatnot like that. Yeah. 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 We sure couldn't have done this a couple of years ago. Not the way we're doing it now. Um, no, it's that's much sure. harder. <laughs> yeah. No, it's definitely different for sure. So what do you think, um, uh, like for your, for your own self and, and your fiance, you guys are hanging out at home a lot right now. Mm -hmm. Um, do you, would you say that you're consuming more, less, or the same amount of alcohol as, as maybe you would traditionally consume? I would like to say the same, but I bought, uh, I just, my brother-in-law got me into like Corona, which I, it's very funny right now. Haha. -ha. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. um, I was quarantined for almost three weeks. So I bought a big box of it and like, I have one 
and that's like one a day, which is more than I have in a long time. But I, I mean, I've also just been like watching movies more and playing video games and stuff like that, which is I, I like to have a drink when I play games. So it could just be that as well. Um, but I would probably say my alcohol con- consumption went up a bit, but probably just because I'm at home more and, you know, relaxing more. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really interesting because, you know, for the winery here, I mean, we are in the alcohol business and we 100% um, uh, want to promote the fact that, um, that you know, you only want to consume responsibly. You don't want to be uh, consuming for mental health issues. And one of the issues that are really kind of arising right now for a lot of people is mental health. And, and uh, mm. there are some significant effects of, of uh, you know, drinking on mental health and in right. a very stressful situation. Um, so I think it's just interesting to, to kind of hear what people are doing um, at the winery. I think, uh, you know, wine consumption uh, out of our winery has, um, has stayed fairly steady. Um, you know, some places are really down quite a bit, uh, not, not um, purchasing as much uh, wine. Also, though, there's been a huge kind of um, level of, of increase of support recently to kind of buying local, local restaurants. Right. Um, you know, local wines, like local beer, beers and stuff like that. So it might be that they're not actually consuming anymore, uh, but then maybe they're consuming more local products than they used mm-hmm. to. Um, you know, and this, of course, is going all across BC right now. So we're located in Prince George, but, um, uh, you know, this could be on Vancouver Island. It could be in Victoria. Uh, it could be, you know, through the lower mainland uh, or the Okanagan. Um, are you, are, is that something you're doing more? Are you kind of focused more on kind of local businesses? How do you kind of approach that? Um I, I've my, well, growing up, I've, I've lived in Prince George my entire life and, uh, my mom, like my family has owned uh, a business or two throughout my life. And my dad has always managed businesses. So shopping local has always been kind of like drilled into me to really support local or else you'll lose them. So it's always been really important to me to shop local. And I think right now more than ever, it's, it's important. So I am really trying to, to stick with local stuff as much as possible, um, a lot of my pastimes, like my hobbies and stuff are, you know, video games, board games and stuff like that. So when I can, I do try to shop local for that stuff, you know, board games and whatnot, Great White, Wonderland. Um, I love those places. So shopping local is is um, always very important for me. Unfortunately, there's no really local video game stores, but well, I guess Game Quest and I do shop there all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, shopping local as much as possible has always been really important to me. Um, just throughout my family and stuff so i think yeah that's cool i i I mean i know i really appreciate it and i know i know you guys are big um, local supporters and i mean i think that's important for everybody to kind of know like one thing um you know we we talk about a lot is trying to support our local businesses and so one of the things we've done recently which you've done a phenomenal job of of kind of bringing out to people but we're actually combining uh games uh, and books from local bookstores and local game stores yeah. um, into packages that they can buy and then deliver them across the province. Um, we're really working hard to promote um, lots of our, our um, farmers as well, because we, of course, uh, purchase farm uh, fruit from farms all across BC. We've got um, you know farms in uh, Chilliwack and all throughout the Fraser Valley and the Lower Mainland and the Okanagan and uh, you know Quinell, BC, and as well as Prince George. So. It's uh, it's been kind of fun to do that. Is there, what what's kind of been the biggest change you've seen on the social media front, and necessarily on kind of like the way that that you promote our products now that we've kind of got these different bundles and different ways, and people are looking at um, you know, purchasing products in different ways now. I think one of the biggest things that's kind of uh, changed is getting your mind wrapped around. Well, for me at least, it's been getting my mind wrapped around the fact that it's changing your wording a bit so it's not just you know drop by and grab a drink or stop it like it's it's adjusting it to really whatever happens daily because right now everything is changing every two days something new is happening or um something has been affected so i think uh, changing that is really uh been a big thing and just the amount of um amount of people who have their eyes on facebook and instagram whatnot is a lot more right now just because uh, a lot of us have nothing to do so you're you're spending a lot more time on social media and whatnot and i know even my social media consumption even though i'm on it all day for work like it has gone up outside of work um and i think that's probably one of our biggest changes right now and one of the biggest opportunities with uh the social media side is definitely the amount of people who have been on there um seeing those cool things and just um 
as you said, the, the local stuff, I've been seeing tons of that all over the place uh, from restaurants and stores and whatnot, really even individuals shopping local and talking about it and making sure that it's a uh, keeping, keeping in, in people's eyes kind of. Totally. Um, you know, we talk about um, social responsibility a lot here. And of course, you know, we're in an industry where uh, again, uh, you know, we want to make sure that people, we encourage, uh, you know, moderate consumption of our products. So we're, you know, not uh, telling people to overconsume. that we're mm. uh, making sure that people are spending their money responsibly as well, because a lot of people are out of work right now. Right. Um, how does that translate to the digital world? Is there like, is there different ways that we need to make sure that we respond our messaging or, or we, we promote our products that kind of uh, are a bit more um, socially responsible? Is there some things you've been thinking about that um, on kind of the messaging and, and making sure that people, you know, know about us, but also know that, hey, you know, if you, we, we would love you to support us as a, little, as a local business, if you're going to drink wine, don't, you know, mm. spend money needlessly to buy our wine if you're not necessarily, um, you know, doing that. And, and then us, you know, promoting others too. Is there anything you, you're kind of in that realm you think about? I think uh, for me, a lot of the wording and stuff, I, it, it's a weird kind of process, but I don't always, I don't always consciously know why I'm ha- like how, why I'm writing what I'm writing, but like I know that there's a reason for it in a way. So like, <laughs> I know that I don't want to promote it to people who might not be able to afford it or you know, feel like they should buy it out of, nece- like not necessity, but uh, buy the product just because they saw an ad for it. But I think when I do the wording and whatnot in posts, it's somewhere in my mind to to keep it broad. And a lot of the stuff we've been doing has been purely for entertainment of people mm-hmm. um, and for like our fans. Like we've been doing the, the, the pairing lists. So, yeah. you know, wine and cheese and stuff like that, which can translate it across wine and, chocolate. <laughs> wine and chocolate is the one that's out right now for Easter. Um, but that's not really a direct ask or something. It's, it's really, if someone has a bottle of wine, they already have the Easter chocolate. They already have the cheese. They already have whatever. Um, not asking them to go out and buy more things necessarily, but really just helping them enjoy their time at home. Um, same with the, the, um, the quarantine packages that we talked about. Uh, it might be a little bit like not it, it, it's it's a it's a spend of course but if you're going to go out and you're going to buy a bath bomb for yourself or whatnot and a bottle of wine it's all gonna kind of end up being the same price as this so it's not as much of an extra thing as it's just really treating yourself and making sure you're mentally healthy and I think that's really important right now is just um, really taking care of yourself I know I I have baths all the time and bath bombs and all that just because mm-hmm. I with my own mental stuff, it's really important to keep yourself healthy. Yeah. A lot of it's ease of access. And also like, Mm -hmm. like you said, like providing something that they don't necessarily, um, wouldn't necessarily think about on their own. Uh, but then when they see it packaged together in a way that a, it's, you know, helping support businesses, local businesses in BC, um, Mm -hmm. you know, B it's, it's fairly easily accessible. It gets delivered right to their door or they can do curbside pickup if they're in storage. You know, I mean, those things um, uh, can make a difference. So I, I, I love that. I think you're, you're doing a great job with that. Um, what, uh, uh, so other questions I had, okay. So how can people like yourself, um, maybe they're social media influencers, maybe they're not social media influencers, but they just like posting on social media. Um, mm-hmm. What are some things that they can do to generate content while kind of being in that restricted environment um, of, of staying at home? Yeah, for sure. So I'm, uh, I, as well as doing social media, I'm a videographer, photographer, you know, everything. Um, and a lot of the people I follow, what they've been doing right now is, um, I follow a, a, um, comedy troupe, um, who do sketch comedy and stuff, but, uh, they can't meet up and they don't have any of their producers right now. So they are literally taking their phones, setting it up on a tripod and recording like that. And then they set it off, send it off to their editor in his house and, they do things like that but it it, right now it's the easiest like it is the easiest it's ever been to really make your own video even like I have a webcam set up right now and you could do that you can everyone has a camera on them if you're a photographer if you're not um, there's free if you're looking to get into photography there's free uh, editing softwares you can get to test that out and play around with stuff like that um, everyone has a video camera, a pretty good video camera attached to their phone, really, yeah. um, along with anything else. Uh, if you're posting on social media, people are, I've seen so many people start um, TikToks and whatnot now. Um, it's not my realm, but I know 
friends of mine who aren't even really in the media kind of thing have been really going for that maybe out of boredom, but maybe also just as a creative outlet. And um, a lot of the people I'm, I follow and talk to, it's, it's really important to have a creative outlet right now just to, to help you keep your brain sane, really. Yeah, totally. No, I, I'm a 100% a huge believer of that. Um, is there any other things that you think um, uh, anyone on this um, video might find interesting there, whether they're looking at it on uh, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, like what, what um, things are kind of going through your head that um, they might find interesting today? Uh, whew, today. Um, I've been looking, I know I saw something interesting today. Um, just, I think just the increase that I've seen in people on social media and um, the, you, you always see good and bad, but I've been seeing a lot of really positive stuff. And um, even in my own kind of world, I've been trying to reach out to people and find out some positivity um, from all this. Like I, when I, last time I got to hang out with my family, um, instead of talking about the negatives that we're, we're seeing from all this, I, took a moment. I said, okay, let's stop talking about the negatives. Let's go around the table and everyone talk about a positive that's happening from this. So I said, okay. for me, I'm going to get back into, you know, uh, I'm going to read some books. I'm going to play some games I hadn't played before. Like, so I think, and I've seen a lot of that on Facebook and we've even, we've put a bit of that out on LinkedIn and stuff, just trying to figure out how to spin this in a more positive way, because we can all see the bad in this, but I think finding some positivity in our every days is, is really important right now to, to keep us all feeling, feeling okay. Yeah. I love that. That's uh, such a good message, honestly, Seth. And I think one of the things that, um, you know, we, we talk about so much is just, it's all about positivity. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we have, a, I think that this is going to go down in history as one of the absolute worst times in history and also one of the absolute best times in history. And you think about mm -hmm. like where this could springboard, um, you know, our civilization going forward. I think in terms of innovation, there's never been more innovation in terms of technology uh, enhancements. Um, I mean, the amount of work that's being done um, in the medical field right now, the, the amount of work that's being done in the education field right now, uh, the amount of uh, work that's being done remotely and how companies are adjusting to that. Um, and, and then I think maybe you mentioned this before, but the, the connectivity that people have right now is changed. And that's, really going to continue going forward from this. I think there's no mm -hmm. reason to consider that that's going to go away. And I think that, uh, you know, among, uh, if there is uh, glimmers of hope, I think that um, at the end of the day, those are some of the things that uh, I'm super excited to see going forward. And, and you know, uh, at, the, at the edge of every night, there is a dawn and that's coming for all of us. And I'm yep. really excited about that. So yeah. Seth, um, if uh, anyone has any questions about kind of our social media or social media in general or videography, photography, how could they get in touch with you? Uh, so I do have uh, my email through the winery. So it's just Seth at northernlightswinery.ca. You can email me through there. And I do answer most of the questions on Facebook and whatnot. So you can always message the page and ask me. And I uh, will definitely see those as well. Awesome. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, for sure. You know, as always, uh, guys, I really appreciate everyone who's uh, tuning into this video. Um, if you like these videos, please uh, put uh, put a thumbs up. We're going to throw this up on our YouTube as well. Uh, make sure that you uh, throw in some comments, questions you might have for Seth or myself. Uh, we'll get through those and we'll actually answer them right on there. Maybe we'll have another one of these and do a bit of a live. Um, the, uh, uh, you know, if you are considering uh, purchasing something, really support local as much as you can. If uh, you're looking at supporting our wines, you can get them at uh, select private liquor stores across BC. You can just get them off our website. Uh, you can get them at the winery itself uh, through curbside pickup. Uh, and, uh, but that's only if you're considering purchasing wines, uh, don't uh, go ahead and spend a bunch of money. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, Seth, this has been great and uh, we'll catch up later. Yeah, for uh, sure. Everyone have a great day. Have a good day.